So as you can see, the van's all stickered up. So what do you think? Thank you very much for everybody who's contributed towards this tour. Uh, it's been really heartwarming to see all the money coming in and hopefully we'll reach our target if that keeps coming in over the eight weeks. Um, so we're going to be doing this tour in eight weeks. Um, we've got 56, we did have 57 places to go. Um, we're down to 56. Taunton is now complete. Um, got all that, uh, that that's gone, um, but we've got Exeter to go. So we're doing Exeter tomorrow. Um, we we'll hope that some people will be out there um, uh, helping us out with some sort of media. Uh, contact uh, the newspapers, um, radio stations, TV if you can. Um, contact your local MP. <laughs> yeah, so contact some uh, media and uh, that will help us on every destination that we're going to go to. Um, it would be great to see some more people uh, turn up. Um, we had two people uh, here today. It was fantastic. Uh, met, met these uh, guys. Um, We'd like to see, uh, meet so much more flat earthers and give us a hand. You can, uh, if, if you're not too good at, uh, most, uh, don't have the confidence to talk to people, um, you can hand out some leaflets for us. You can help us in so many different ways. You can even donate. <laughs> In Taunton we met a couple of flat earthers who came out especially to see us, which was great to see. So hopefully as we travel down other cities and towns we'll see a lot more of you come out to meet us. Uh, that's really good to see so many flat earthers coming together. So we're not quite there yet. Um, we've had some donations come in. Um, thank and thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Um, we're nearly there. It's um, it's nearly all um, what's it paid for now, um, and then we can complete our journey. Um, we're st we've still got a little way to go, but look, you guys are amazing. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks to everybody for viewing this video. This is the start of our Flat Earth UK tour and our first destination was Totten, which we filmed. Switch on my TV Cause all they do is lie And I don't need no programming Telling me what to buy But I believe But I believe I believe the truth will set you free I believe the truth will set you free Don't believe in just the system 
I could ask you a response to that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Are you, do you live local? Uh, pretty close, yeah, pretty close. Oh, right, right. Very handsome. Could I ask you on a scale of 1 to 10 how open minded you are? Very open minded. Okay. Yeah. So, so if, if we were asking you to question what you've been told about living on a ball with water around it, yeah. how open would you be to that? Uh, I'm very open to it. I mean, I've actually come across it before. All right, uh, okay. Very interesting display you've got. Um, so you believe this completely? Well, it's not belief. It's it's annoying. It's uh, uh -huh. it's annoying that we're on a flat station plane. Yeah. There's no proof that we live on a globe. Yeah. Are you aware that all those images are not real photographs? Yeah, I'm aware of the dodgy stuff with NASA for sure. Yeah. yeah, I, mean, yeah. I mean, I knew that image of the Earth yeah. was quite a weird one because it yeah. was the only one in existence for like 30 years. Absolutely. <laughs> which and, is ridiculous. And it looks like it looks just like CGI. It just doesn't yeah. look real, does it? Yeah. yeah. No, no. So we, we go up and down the country and uh, we, we do street interviews. And we, I've got okay. a YouTube channel here, which we go from London to the Orkneys. We just right. Cool. And how are you finding? Yeah, well, we find a lot of people like yourself who are yeah. open-minded. Not, not we necessarily expect them to believe that, but to yeah. actually think about it, contemplate it, and question what they've been told. Right. If I may say so, you were told same age as me, around five, yeah. when, you, when you believed in Santa Claus and Tooth Fairy, yeah. that you live in a spinning ball of water on it. That's right. And we just accept that yeah. without question. I'm a primary school teacher. I've told other kids that. Are you? Ah, oh. it's crazy. You, you're the third teacher that I've met who are starting yeah. to question this and saying, "Should I be telling the children this?" Well, actually, I left teaching because of it. Did you? Yeah. Wow. Really. Respect to you then. Well, you know, it's a very big problem, and uh, I think what you're doing is very impressive. I have actually seen your channel. Oh, have you? Yeah. Okay. So oh, I'm, I'm very impressed with the work. Oh, oh brilliant. But we're in a I don't, I don't know if you find that disappointing, but yeah, I'm, I'm very glad to meet you guys. Oh, no, no. We're just when we come across flat earthers in, in, in the street, it's fantastic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, because people try to mock this, a lot of uh, trolls and shills trying to mock it. Right. But, but there's a huge growing number of people out there who who know that all they had was a belief. Right. They had no evidence themselves. Well, it's a very tough thing because, I mean, I don't think people are primarily driven by knowledge or facts. You know what I mean? They tend to be more driven by social, political influences. Absolutely. And that yeah. is the biggest problem you've got. Yeah, yeah. Do you know? Yeah. But, but then I, I don't think intelligent mind is satisfied with uh, theories and images. No, I don't think so at all. I mean, I think there's a massive dissatisfaction in life today, in yeah. general, in, in yeah. Western civilizations, which is why I reckon this has exploded across the internet. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it is exploding. There's just so many people waking up to it, and they're trying to suppress yeah. this at all costs. But so many, you can't go back once you realise. Yeah. Uh -huh. Everything I, I had was a belief. Just yeah, I yeah, believed yeah. and I was told, you know. Right. And like, like all, all your bodily senses, if we're in touch with our senses, no disrespect to the schooling, but yeah. I feel schooling suppresses our, our natural senses it does. over authority. Right. Now, all your natural senses are telling you now you're not spinning yeah. faster than a speeding bullet. Well, you don't even need to do that. I did uh, physics at university, so oh, I, mean, I, I know quite well, like, in uh, circular motion. So one of the things I continually say to you is that if you're moving at a constant speed, you can't actually feel the motion, which is yeah. correct if you're moving on a perfectly smooth thing. 
But if you're moving in a circle, you're actually continually accelerating because acceleration is changing direction as yeah. well as changing speed. Yeah. So something moving in a circle will continually accelerate. Yeah. So you'll have that continual feeling because it's always getting moved into a different direction. Yeah. So I, I think we are stationary. Yeah, I think the argument <laughs> is, well, but, but gravity helps it keep it at a constant speed, you know. And yes, it's just all theoretical uh, nonsense. Right. That they, can't, they can't validate. They can't uh, evidence. So yes, it's yeah. theoretical. All of it. Gravity, totally theoretical. Well, the part of it attracting planets is theoretical. And and holding water to a ball. Yeah, correct. Okay. Yeah, it's, but it's the it dropping stuff. I mean, the thing is, the dropping stuff. The hard thing is because they've kind of sandwiched two things together. Like yes. Practical application yeah and then something that's completely theoretical yeah that's what kind of throws people off because they can't separate the two yeah and we get you know? we get clever dicks who'll pull something out of their pocket and drop it see gravity i said well okay we both agree that's dropped but can you evidence that some some force was pulling that to the ground you can't yeah. that's a belief you have yeah that's, people have beliefs and they just they want to defend that at all costs rather right. than question it yeah. be open to questioning what they've been told but well, I mean, a lot of it's... I mean, it is... I mean, I don't know. I mean... I'm just not that sold on the conspiracy side of things. I think stupidity sells a lot of it. You know, I think people... Just yeah. once you get the ball rolling on something... Yeah. It's like the Emperor's New Clothes. Yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like but I, so I don't see this as a conspiracy. I just uh -huh. see, see this... This is... We've been told lies and we don't have any valid primary experience of living on a ball. Yeah. And all these distant planets. I mean, they, they could tell you... Uh, a new planet's been found light years ahead. Yes. How can we verify that? How, how can we challenge that? We right. Can't. Well, yeah. I mean, that's the same with all astronomy. All astronomy yeah, well, is non verifiable yeah. speculation. I mean, they... but, uh, on my channel, I uh, interviewed an astrophysicist. Uh -huh. And I started off by saying, is it, can we start off by say, agreeing that everything you're going to tell me here, well, the majority of it is going to be second hand information, isn't it? Yes. Anyway, well, right. okay, okay. Well, of course it is, and he couldn't prove any of his points because yes. he didn't know anything. But I mean, that's been cosmology right from the start. I mean, yeah. you know, Laplace, the guy who started cosmology, was sponsored by the French government essentially during the revolution because, you know, they wanted to get rid of the idea of any kind of god, yeah. to get rid of the idea there was any divine right of kings, yeah. Yeah. to make sure they could get their democracy set up. So, I mean, yeah. these things are all political motivations yeah, abso behind them. Absolutely. Like, absolutely. You know, I mean, yeah. and, and it's not very hard to find that stuff out, you know, because yeah. they wrote yeah. about it, people like Voltaire and stuff like that wrote about it quite openly in their yeah. memoirs. I, th I think a lot of people uh, wrote about this openly, but, you know, they had book burnings and, and things were respect, uh, suppressed. And I, I You don't mean uh, writing about Flat Earth? Or? Yeah, yeah and, and, and proving we're not on a globe, because if I don't know if you're aware, but there was five scientific experiments that proved the Earth doesn't move. Right. Now, they're not taught in school. And when I ask uh, professors and, and students in science, yeah. did you know about these? Uh, no. No. Well, I mean, what, the, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the peer-reviewed scientific uh, facts of experiments, I think I think it was five. I can only remember uh, Ailey's failure, Nicholson Morley. Yes. And and yeah, Nicholson Morley was the big one. I mean, yeah. that's, that's very famous, Nicholson and Morley. And Sagnac, yeah. Because Nicholson Morley was the one that they used to prove that the ether didn't exist yeah, or whatever, yeah. but it actually proved the opposite. Yeah. I mean, people just don't pay attention. Yeah. I mean, people are, they're but kind of into Sunday Times science. Anything yeah. that makes a good couple yeah. of paragraphs, yeah. but easy I think, Sunday yeah, reading. I think Nicholson Morley and others, they went out to prove that there are uh, movement. Right, but, but they, but they to, couldn't pick it up. They had to conclude yes. that they couldn't get the parallax. Yeah. Because there is no parallax. No. Because it's not moving. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's, it's very interesting stuff, yeah. I have to say. Um, so yeah, you're doing a tour of England then? Uh, Brit Britain, yes. Ireland, Ireland, Wales, oh, okay. Scotland. Well, I'd say there's an interesting place. If you go up to the north coast of Ireland, you know where the Giant's Causeway is? Yes, yeah. So on the Giant's Causeway... Where about is in Ireland are you from? I'm from the Giant's Causeway. Oh, wow. Well, right. so, so this is how I know this, and, and you know, whenever this kind of came to the forefront... About oh, we should go there, because it's an amazing uh, photographic experience. But also, there's a perfect view, so you can see from uh, the Antrim coast, you can see the coast of Donegal, yeah. and you can see the coast of the Inner Hebrides. So you've got like a perfect triangle, uh, which is about 76 miles. Yeah. Is, that, is that Isla and Jura you can correct, see? Correct, Isla yeah. and Jura. Yeah. And you can see the coastlines the whole way up, and you can see the headlines, and you've got a stretch of war, which I measured the uh, wow. Apollo News across, which is 80 miles of completely die flat water yeah. which is you know that sold me straight away I was yeah. like, once you've seen it yeah well as you, and you've got comparisons yeah. as, as we agreed you can't go back can you 
No. And uh, so many people are doing laser tests now, you know, across. I've seen them, yeah. Long yeah, yeah, distances yeah. and showing no curvature. It's tough though, because I think that a lot of people. I mean, I would say probably about 80% of the population would not be confident in being able to make draw conclusions from any kind of experiment. Mm. I, do you know what I mean? I think, yeah. I mean, from oh. what I remember. Oh. Oh. But, <laughs> bit, bit windy. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's that's right. I mean, there's. You're going to have to tie this down. Yeah, I have to get some string. Just, just after, after I do this one, I'll. I'll hold this while you're. Uh, I mean, you, you can do very basic experiments like go to a beach and people think a boat goes over the carriage of there. Right. Take a zoom camera or a telescope and, and see the whole of that boat. Right. Proving it's not going to over coverage. Okay, but the thing is, like once you've done that, then you've got to make the stand. How dare you throw my card away? I'm actually going to hang on to that. You, you've got to make the, like, and it becomes a social political stand after that to go and say to somebody that that's what you've seen and that's what it means. Yeah. And I think that that is a pretty big ask for most people because... But, but then if I take them to the beach myself and they, they can look so it's primary observations and say, oh, I can see the whole of the boat now. I thought, I really thought that had gone over the curvature. Right, but I still, I mean, the thing is, it's how much people are bought into like the entire framework of the authority structure of society. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, that, that's the really big heavy weight. <laughs> it thing. is, it is. Yeah. And no matter how many proofs you show them, they're still resistant. Right, because yeah. the thing is, their livelihood, their existence. Well, I, I would say it's because of this, the black area. Right, okay. I mean, yeah, that's definitely. Uh, and Cognitive dissonance. Right, because there's a whole kind of social and moral thing worn into it. I mean, human beings are very complex animals, but they are mostly social. Yeah, yeah. And that is such a yeah. heavy... I, 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 I would say I think we're quite simplistic, although we complicate it uh -huh. th through not understanding our, ourselves. So um, our perceptions get a bit ski whiffed because we don't really understand our own thinking. Right. Would you Possibly. I mean, uh, like, put it this way. I mean, with me, like, let's say I can go and check out these experiments and I saw the coastline, I go, I go it's flat. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I still would be very uncomfortable going into a classroom with kids and going, hey, look, guys, all of NASA, all of the government, the school board system, everything's wrong, the Earth's flat. Yeah. Not going to happen. No, it's not going to happen. <laughs> but but you, you, you set questions for these young minds to think critically. Right. Do, do you think children are, are taught critical thinking in school? I think kids have it naturally. I mean, I can yeah. remember, you know, I mean, I was brought up Catholic, which is quite an interesting thing because, you know, you're taught a lot about the Bible and it's Bible school. You know what I mean? You're taught yeah. uh -huh. that the Bible is actually true or whatever, but then at the same time, you're being educated in the atheist education system, which is teaching you science and the earth going around the sun and, you know, all the science yeah. stuff, you know. No wonder dinosaurs. we're all confused. Right. So, that, I mean, that, and, no, I can remember that being very, you know, I mean, as a child, I was seven years old, I can remember thinking, how can these two contradictory things be true? Yeah, well, absolutely. And, you know, you've got so, two so sets of adults telling you yeah. that these two contradictory sets Lying of things are true. To and at some point, as you become a teenager, you've got to make a decision about which one you're going to commit to. I, I don't know about you, but I, I thought I'm not going to commit to any of them. Because I, uh -huh. I thought it was a bit like uh, the political paradigm of left and right, where right. both the same or they're both misleading. Yeah, yeah. So I thought there must be something else. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not buying any of these two because there, there was no proof of any. You know. Uh, I agree, but I mean, I did commit to one. I fully yeah. committed to the scientific paradigm. By the time I was 13, 14, I was like, I, like you know, yeah. Bible's a load of rubbish, mm. completely, you know, yeah. and just went completely with the Richard Dawkins, Stephen yes. Hawkins yeah. paradigm. I mean, that was my, and you know, that lasted. Whew, you know, a good 25 years until this thing came along. Yeah, wow, <laughs> Which is, wow, uh, wow. you know, and this is very interesting. And where are you with your Catholicism now then? Oh, well, I mean, I'm definitely Christian now, but I'm not Catholic. Right. I mean, I think the Catholic Church is largely responsible for this. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. You talk, know, talk, I mean, talk. Jesuits yeah. have got a lot mm. to ask and mm. answer for, I think. Yeah, I think they've sort of hidden from the, from the uh, mainline of questioning over the, the past few years, haven't they? But only now people are starting to think, Right. oh, well, they I seem mean, to be behind everything. Well, the thing is, I mean, the Catholic Church, like, during the Reformation, I mean, if you look into Ignatius Loyola and the finding of the Jesuits, like, I mean, yeah. the... the like the Counter-Reformation was kind of launched by the Catholic Church because, you know, the actual Reformation started 
destroying Catholicism so quickly. You know, it spread like wildfire across the whole of the world. Yeah. And the Catholic Church, to fight back, basically tried to maintain control of the education systems. And in order to maintain control of the education systems, you know, they got into like science, like maths. I mean, you look into the foundation of every single scientific. Uh, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot what you call them now. Scientific uh, areas, you know, yeah. like chemistry, physics, ma yeah. maths. You know, I mean, there are a lot of Jesuits involved, and the Catholic Church was heavily involved. And a lot of the astronomy, I mean, even the Big Bang came from yeah. George Lamartre, who was a Jesuit. Mendel, who invented genetics, was a, you know, Catholic monk. So, you know, I mean, there's like. I mean, these two things of religion and science are inseparable, despite the fact that people want to kind of pull them apart. Yeah, you know? I, I find yourself refreshingly open-minded considering you've been through the system yourself. Well, you know, it's really nice to meet people who are actually out doing something. Yeah, and what's your name? Andy. Andy? Yeah. We will certainly uh, visit uh, those steps. Well, like yeah. I say, you got to go, I mean, that is one of the best places, I think, because I, I always kind of thought, when I first looked into it and I, and I saw the coastline, I thought, you know, people who live in land, I would find it very hard to be able to, you know, unless I've been able to see something like that yes, in my own yeah. eyes and be able to check out the measurements on, because yeah. you can actually check out the height of the cliffs on the Ordnance Surveys. Yes. So you can see that you've got, like, you know, comparative heights here, you know, yeah. I've got a cliff here that's 200 metres high and yeah. a cliff here that's 200 metres high. But just you seeing the Inner Hebrides, that's a very basic observation for people to say, break out of the programming, look, it's flat. Well, yeah, I mean, the Outer Hebrides should be 60, I think I measured 600 feet below the horizon. Yeah, I mean, I should yeah. not be able to see it from Absolutely. the north coast of uh, it's really, Northern Ireland. And, you know, as an adult with critical thinking now, I'm thinking, water on a floor around the ball. Come on, how, why did I buy that? But then, of course, right. I believe but in I Santa remember Claus. You, I mean, I'm sure you can remember sort of struggling with it when you were yeah. a child. So that's why I'd say, but I mean, you shouldn't underestimate how much kids think. Exactly, but then I, f I feel that's suppressed out of us by, or, or be quite authority, uh, gravity, there you go. Oh, okay yes. then. Oh no, it, so it we stop believe, is. We stop believing is. in our own uh, senses and our own critical thinking. You know. Right. I mean, I do think that there's going to be a bit of a kickback of, about this stuff as well because it just destroys. It, yeah, I mean, I think this thing is a double edged sword. You know, I think it's been a very clever. I, I mean, I do think that it is the Catholic yeah. Church. Yeah. Yeah. Well, on the back there, we've got some more. Uh, uh -huh. We've got that's our website leading to a lot of other interesting websites. And right. Well, it was real nice talking yeah. to you. Man. You too. Thank and, you very uh, much, man. Yeah, I'll have to. Thank I'll, you. I'll check out your uh, your travels. On oh, YouTube. fantastic! Yeah, we do. Do. this is the first today, so yeah, yeah. it's uh, five hundred. No, it's five hundred. Uh, Fifty-six places in eight weeks. We're going yeah, to. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, good luck. Well, thank you very much, man. Good work. Thank you. All right. Bye. Well, yeah, what, what, what are you stuck at once, like, or is it just kind of good for you kind of? Oh, sorry, you sound like a hundred percent. It's an interesting concept. Yeah. Uh, Have you heard of it before? Uh, um, I'm just wondering why people would lie to us, really. Yeah. Do you think your government lies to you? I, I don't know. I hadn't. You know, it's the first I've heard of it, really. Oh, right, right. Well, I mean, there's plenty of instances where the government has been lying to us, but but NASA is an extension of the government. So, if if I put it to you that you don't live on a ball, you live on a flat plane, and there's further land out there that's been kept from us, but we're told the space is out there, but it's not. I mean, all your senses now are telling you that you're not sp spinning faster than a speeding bullet. But they're telling you you're spinning 1,000 miles an hour. I must admit, when, I, when I'd heard, um, first heard it was spinning, I just think it was a bit odd. Yes. But um, I don't always know for certain. Because um, uh, a lot of us aren't... Um, don't, don't know an awful lot about this sort of... Um, Scientific stuff. Yeah, because we we can't we can't go to space, can we ourselves? So. Um, yeah, exactly. I mean, you, you sort of kind of to an extent rely on the experts, or yeah. so called experts. So called, yes, yes. <laughs> so, but how can we? When they tell you they find a planet millions of light years ahead, 
how can we verify that? How can we even challenge exactly. that? They could tell us Mickey Mace is out there and, and we'd have to accept that as being true. Yeah, sure. But, you know, when, when you were five years old and you believed in Santa Claus and Tooth Fairy, they told you you lived on a ball with water on it. But, you know, how can water conform to the of a ball? It's ridiculous. As an adult with critical thinking, how on earth could that happen? It, if you watch the behaviour of water, it always finds its own level. Yeah. It cannot conform to the exterior of shapes. Mm. <laughs> and, and then they say the word gravity, but then that's never been proven. That's just a theory. That's why it's called that's the theory of gravity. Off, yeah. So we've got a guy over there in a the check shirt right at the end, Robert Simmon, who, who uh, yeah. produces all these blue marble shots of Earth. Yeah. And he says they're not photographs. They're photoshopped. Ah, oh, right. There are no real photographs of Earth in space. They're all Photoshop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Do you carry on. Okay. No, but but we, right. we believed all that when we were five years old and we never questioned it. Yeah. And now as, as adults with critical thinking, yeah. I go, well, what's the evidence? What's the proof for this? What, CGI images and cartoons? Are you okay with this? Like, I guess that leads you to sort of believe that they're covering something up. Yeah, yeah. Really? Well, I suspect it's, um, it's Father Land. It's, uh, you know, people believe they're in a spinning ball with space out there, but uh, there's no proof that anyone's been to space. Yeah. Also, do you watch any of the soaps on television? Yes, I do. Right, well, on a spacewalk or on the moon, nobody's taken a camera and turned 360, ever. Coronation Street can't do that either, because you see all the directors, the actors and the stage props. So when they're on the moon, they never did that. That's the first thing you do if you went to the moon. You go, oh wow, look at that! But they never did it. There's no footage of that. So I'm just putting to you that this is all lies. We don't live in a spinning ball. <laughs> okay. How how has this been found out? How have you found out about? It? Yeah. Well, exactly. over over here is uh, the S curvature chart. It tells you how much of a drop there is in curvature over, say, 10 miles. Now, if you can see objects or land over that distance, according to the chart, you shouldn't see them because they should be down below the curvature. So, um, who managed to get hold of that sort of information? Yeah, you can just go online and, oh, and put that. And that's actually solid information. Well, that's what's presented to us as official figures. That's not like our figures. Right. Uh, you got seven miles. Yeah. You should have 32 feet of a drop over seven miles. Yeah, but it, it makes you wonder uh, which, you know, what you can actually believe. Um, yeah, what? You know, if, it, if we have been told these lies, um, and do you sort of mean, you can, you can sort of be told more or less anything. Um, that, that, that's, that's why you have, yeah. you've got to tell what's the truth now yeah. then, isn't it? That, I think that's why you have to trust your senses and, and your own eyes. You can see ships on the horizon that are supposed to go over the curvature, but you zoom in with a zoom camera and you see the whole of the boat. So it's not going down over any curvature. And then you can see objects and land uh, 275 miles away, well, photograph, and you shouldn't be able to see any of that. So there's, there's many proofs, and there as well you've got uh, amateur balloons going up to 21 miles high and showing a complete flat horizon all around. But yeah, NASA use fisheye lenses which curve the horizon. I mean, it, see it, the height, it's completely flat. Let, let me, let me and I, I'd ask you, how can an aeroplane fly around a ball? Well, yeah. A passenger aeroplane? Yeah. Taking your seatbelts off? It's ridiculous. But we, but we bought that when we were really young. Yeah. And if a, an aeroplane was flying level on a ball, it would eventually fly into space. Would it not? Yeah. I mean, that's common sense and logic. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, 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 we're on a UK tour at the moment, but we go through so many cities. That's my card. You can see the video on there. And on the back is our website with many other 
information about flat earth. This is probably one of the biggest things on the internet right now, the subject matter. I'll show you to my daughter, she'd probably be quite interested. She's 11. Oh, all right. Yeah, she's, got, she's got a very, obviously, very inquiring mind about things. She's very bright and uh, it's obviously she'd be fascinating. Oh, fantastic. Brilliant. Yeah. Right. Well, it's very nice talking to you. Thank, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. We do see rockets go off, and then and then when you watch a video from our jet, like even though it has millions, like rockets. Can I join your conversation? It's the fact that um, it makes more sense. And what makes more sense? Flat Earth makes sense when when you actually look at all the bloody evidence. Well done, sir. Well done. If the Earth is flat, surely there's an end to it. Well, what, why should it be an end? Yeah, but surely if the Earth will be doesn't get oh, sorry, I'm getting a bit too passionate. Oh, good. I like passion. I like passion. <laughs> no, Tara. There's going to be an end to it if it's flat. Yeah, but but when they tell you space is infinite, do you question that being? Yeah, but Earth isn't infinite. It, how, infinite. How, yeah, how, how, how do you how do you know? How do you know it's not infinite? Everything. Because 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 people have travelled all the way around the world. No, 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 no. Someone's travelled from, from one place. Sources, yeah. It's usually bollocks. So, <laughs> someone's travelled from one place and gone all the way around the world. Okay, say that you're all the continents of the Earth, you three girls. I can walk around you now and come back where I started. Now I've circumnavigated you, but I'm on a flat plane. I can go around the world on a flat plane. But that, yeah, but, we are, but then you can also go around other ways. No, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to get one at a time. Nobody has ever circumnavigated the earth between north and south. Did you know that? I didn't know that, which is fair enough. One person's Why, claiming to without evidence, but. So, so, so nobody's second navigate north to south. So you have to ask critical thinking. You have to ask, well, why not? Because it's a flat plane. They only second navigate round the continents. Planes don't fly in a straight line. Well, maybe it's just because there's no point in it. No one's yeah. going from Antarctica to oh, I don't know geography. Well, <coughs> but either way, no, no one out. No one's doing. Like, there's just no reason to do it. Well, I guess they could. Adventurous be. spirit of adventure. Yeah, I suppose, being the first to do it. I suppose. But it's just not right. <laughs> but you How do you explain like the fact that people have actually just seen seen the seen the Earth? Sir, sorry. How do you explain the fact that astronauts and people have actually just seen the Earth is round? Is that, and is, seen that all the okay. other planets around, and if all the other planets are around, and you say that all the other planets orbit around us, then why are we the one but, that's still, and why are we the one that's flat and not round? But that's word of mouth, isn't it? But it's not word of mouth. Yeah, but then what you're footage. doing also is word of mouth. Like, everything's yeah. word of mouth. I love your passion, girl, girls, but I, I've got to ask you. What, one at a time. Yeah. We, we have a guy there on uh, on the boards called Robert Simmon, who produces your blue marble shots of Earth, and he admits they're not photographs; they're Photoshop. But that's one person. Well, he produces them for NASA. Yeah, but yeah, that's one person. If he produces them pictures from NASA, like so, why would he be lying about it then? But, but it's, not just, about it's not just it's not just him, saying, is it? Like, there why are, would, there why are would thousands you, yeah. and thousands. Are you two staring at each other? No. Like there, there are thousands of people that work for NASA, for NASA, and he's just one guy, and yeah. he's on Taunton High Street campaigning that the world is flat like he's obviously yeah. going to say that it's an image put together isn't it well it is they, they say that on the website it's, it's an image they don't they don't say photographs there are so many people that have seen that with their own eyes Who, who's seen it? like or loads of astronauts have been just astronauts who have been now do, do, do you know that they're all you can see when you're up in a plane at a certain height yeah. that the world has a certain curve no you can't you can, You've never... you can if you go far enough okay. up in a plane okay. you, you can see that but, but I've been up curve. And planes, I fly my own paragliders. I've never seen a coverage of it. Pilots will tell you they've never seen a cover of the earth. The reason why that is is because it's too. But, far. but you, but you just claimed you've seen it though. Yeah, I think you do. But, but pilot, pilots claim they've never seen it. So how have you seen it? Let me speak. The reason why you can't see it is because it's way too far, and the horizon is is how many kilometres? Like five hundred thousand yeah. yeah. kilometres. But but that's only twenty four thousand miles of circumference. We have to start seeing evidence of a coverage of somewhere. If you, look, if you look at official figures, it carves 8 inches per your, mile square. Your vision can't see it. it no, human vision no. isn't capable of seeing something But, but we have that telescopes and zoom cameras that see objects that we shouldn't be seeing 270 miles away. It should be below the curvature, but they're not. That proves that we're not on a curve. We're on a flat stationary plane. 
Uh, and was, how can you prove um, those images? Are people true? constantly. Because, no, I'm looking at myself. I'm looking at that myself. I can see land that far away. Yeah, that I shouldn't I be able to see. I just think that people constantly want to be right and people want to constantly prove yeah. people wrong and people well, feel threatened. And this whole thing is just feeling threatened by people who you think are in charge and people who work for NASA. And it's not like. But you're not assuming a lot, an awful lot about me when you don't know who I am or. No, I don't. I do, but like also, but a lot of things that are just trying to you're just trying to disprove what you think is no i know for i know for a fact right, we're, no we're, i know for a fact we're in a flat plane and you've all been lied to at school that where you live but, but, but you, so you don't know that for a fact, fact. i do you know, know that for a fact. fact because i could say i know the world is round for a fact well, yeah, it's, it's, i feel you're not really special. listening to me but i, I can prove that we're on a flat prove it. prove it to me right now we, that we look is flat. okay we look at water we look at the behavior of water it always drops to its lowest point and finds its own level. Water is always no, it level. because water's got a meniscus in it. It has in a glass or a teardrop. But yeah. on a large body of water, it always finds its level. Well, that's just gravity. because of how gravity, gravity works. Well, well, what, what's gravity working with that? The gravitational pull of the Earth. That's how gravity works. Okay, but how, how do you know that exists? The gravitational because pull of the Earth. The how do you know it doesn't well, exist? Oh, girls, you've got to ask, ask one question without trying your question. <laughs> well, I won't float away anywhere because the molecules of the, this body is heavier than the molecules of the air. So I'm not going to float anywhere. If I'm a helium balloon, I'll float up because I'm lighter than the molecules of the atmosphere. But you're not going to float anywhere. You don't have to talk about gravity. It's, do it's buoyancy and density that keeps you to the but then ground. But the same with water. If the that's world's flat, water stays there. what's underneath it? I don't know. Is there an underneath? Oh, right. Is it? There's not an underneath. Um, it can't be flat. I don't know. How well, it was one explain, big solid that went on forever, how do you explain, isn't it? Explain like volcanoes and all the stuff that comes from up underneath. Yeah, and tectonic plates and yeah. things like that. Well, they, they go on a bit to tectonic plates, but that's second-hand information. I don't, I can't verify. Do you know the, the deepest? The, do you know the, the deepest depth they've ever drilled? No. Eight miles. But so how do they know? How do they know about all these tectonic plates? Like it's proven in the way that it works, volcanoes, and people have dug and seen convection in the way that it works. Yeah, but it's still second-hand information, is it not? But there are a lot of clever people out there who don't work to kind of like deceive us and lie okay. to us. They do, work to do, tell us do, and do find us Do out clever things. people ever tell lies? Uh, yeah, obviously, right. but I think so, that if you're... So uh, why do you trust them I so? I don't think scientists are the same as the government. It's not, why a, it's not? not a political party, yeah. which science party yeah. are people. Scientists are a different thing. But they may, pay, they may be work. paid for... Scientists are passionate and work to find out things. Truth. And it's not just scientists who are paid to do this and tell us this. It's, it's, every, it's everyone. Yeah, and by that same logic, like how do we know that your second-hand information yeah. is just... I wouldn't expect you to believe anything I'm saying. Only, you, you, yeah. But you go and question and find out for yourself and do some research yeah, yeah. and you find out so much information there that was contradictory to what you've been told at school. Mm -hmm. When you believed in Santa Claus and the Tooth Fairy, they took you into school and told you you live in this ball with water around it and you believed it without question all your life without lo looking into that. That's how our brains develop. We yeah. learn how to make our own opinions on things. And I think, well, I think the whole thing is just opinions. You, learn, you can't like... Yeah. You learn about when people used to think that the world was flat and the whole revolution was yeah. changing. And, it, it's, yeah. and, and they weren't scared, like obviously were scared to change the common belief then, but it yeah. still happened. Yeah. Like if, if, this was, yeah. if this was valid in any way in the brains of, yeah. of people oh, who... Oh, okay, you're, you're saying research. opinions. I'm saying it's opinion. You think that the planes can fly around the ball upside down. But How can a passenger not, plane? Not upside down, it's but, but, but if you don't mind me saying, I don't wish to insult you because I was, <laughs> I was where you were. Is that not a programmed response? Gravity, gravity, gravity. Because you, you can't prove that. Well, it has been proven. Where, yeah. Where's it been proven? It's been proven by just general physics. No, it hasn't. <laughs> the theory of gravity, <laughs> which no, no, the theory of gravity which holds oceans to a ball has never been proven. That's why it's called the theory of gravity. We, there's people like us who have been researching this for four years. There's learned people who no, now know. Researching this for hundreds. No, no, no there's, there's learned people now who know who don't live in a ball. There's no proof that we live in a ball. Uh, but there's no proof of anything in science. Everything is a theory. Yeah, so... And you could say that about anything. And, like, that's just do, the way that the world works. Do you think there's self-evident like, truth? you are being lied to. That's, it's your theory. No, it's like, not a theory. But it is, no, it's it is not a theory. theory. Every single thing nobody's that we believe... Nobody's circumnavigated the, the north to south, so that is a lie. Yeah, but no one is also that. 
travelled like south and gone under the world and yeah. found it to be flat. Right. No one has, no but, one has but, seen the world. I'm not making that claim though. I'm, I'm not making that claim. No, but you are making the claim that it's, it's a fact. Yes, I am. Yes. But you can't have a fact without have the solid but, proof that has but, never been disproved. But I'm not making that claim. I'm just making the claim. We're living on a stationary plane. We're not moving. All your senses. If you if you li listen to your senses right now, they're telling you you're not spinning. But the authorities will tell you you're spinning faster than a speeding bullet. And you're supposed to believe that. They don't tell you that. They don't tell you that you're moving. Well, fast. we're moving 1,000 miles an hour at the equator. Yeah, but in, that's in five, because that's of the amount speeding. of like, volume that the Earth I think, is I think, standing in. I think maybe you have to take into account size and the fact that if, you're, if, you're, if it's a, a large area that's moving quickly, that things on it don't feel that. Well, and you how are you meant to notice? Because, because if you've been living that way your whole life, how are you going to notice these? Yeah. How are you going to notice that you're going however yeah. many miles, yeah, miles yeah. an hour you're going? Yeah. <laughs> do, do you think water can conform to the exterior of a ball? We, we were saying could, could, that could, could a lady more answer that? Than I do. <laughs> no, do, 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 do you think <laughs> do, do, do water can conform to the exterior of a ball? Well, if it's going, if it's turning... Water on a ball? Well, what? I don't know. No, exactly. We were told that and we just believe it without any evidence. Well, what is that doing? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> could, could you recite me the evidence, please? The scientific evidence. But, could you, the whole evidence is that, though. Thank you for the intellectual Thank you. Thank you, ladies. So when they're going sideways, I mean, I mean no, that's, that's so, trajectory. So, that's so when they, <laughs> right? Okay. It's like um, that's the music. So, like so the angle of the wings. Yeah. My YouTube channel. I, I, I know you may may have learned that somewhere, but what about do you know? Um, what about the guys who do the spacewalks on the on the what are they pushing against when they when they move well, around? Actually, if you so if like the space guy, he, he likes to go there. Would you mind if I asked you what your response to that is? Yeah. What's the end? What's the end? What, what's the all of what they're getting at? What's well, we're questioning, the we're questioning the validity of us living on a ball. Do you think you live in a spinning ball? Well, when you get fed, yeah, we'll go, yeah, 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 absolutely. Spinning around at two thousand miles an hour, whatever. It is. Well, well, it's, it's actually a uh, thousand miles an hour. We're supposed to be spinning, right. but all our senses are telling us we're not spinning. I've been searching for quite a while. Now, as I was telling the, the ladies there that. Around five years old, when we believed in tooth theory in Santa Claus, yeah. they brought you into the classroom and said, you live in that spinning ball of water on it. Oh, and no, and we never question that again, do we? What, what's the end argument? What, 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 what is it just because you won't prove that you've been lying to it? Yeah, yeah, well... Yeah. We, was we, it for global warming or what was it? No, no, no. We live in a spinning ball of water. Yeah, well, we live in a flat level plane. But people try and tell us we live on a spinning ball of water going around us. Yeah, yeah. Since yeah. It's impossible. How can water conform to the exterior of a ball? It's using your senses to tell you that it's not spinning. How can water conform to the exterior of a ball? So you just want to prove it's been lied to, basically. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, because like they're all doing that, innit? Yeah, absolutely. Right, cheers. We've grown up in a like atmosphere where we're not given this flow at the same time when you start believing in Santa Claus and Tooth Fairy and things you know like, and then all of a sudden like, you, you believe in this growth but where's this point where's this evidence and, and, then, and then later on in life and all that and, and, you, know, you can give away your Santa Claus beliefs and that but you hold on to the beliefs of a globe but again I ask you where can we find this proof there is a lot. There is an awful lot of evidence, but I don't also see a lot of evidence for this. I don't think you can. I don't think you can. Okay. Uh, can I show you one bit of evidence? It's on the back of that. Um, this is um, spherical trigonometry. Okay. It's based on Pythagorean's theorem. Okay. And, and so there has to be a calculation for the Earth's drop. You would agree with that? Um, well, that like Pythagoras' theorem only really applies in like you spherical can't... trigonometry. It does reply to that, and you can check that online. So it's yeah. eight inches per squared mile. It drops. Okay. So at eight inches per squared mile, this is uh, the person who took this for the Black Ball Gazette and that. He was stood on the promenade, and he took this picture, and you can see the Isle of Man. That's 65 miles away. But based on uh, on this curvature chart, it's meant to be hidden by two and a half thousand feet. Okay, what, the highest mountain is 2,000 feet. Why can we see these mountains and objects, and even lighthouses and not? Why can we see them over these large distances? We shouldn't be able to see them. They're over the drop, they're hidden. That one there is 273 miles longest distance photo. It should be three miles. I mean, can you imagine how, how big three miles high is? 
and now all of that should be hidden below the curvature. So, uh, I My think, I think, I think that these are like averages of like how of how the Earth curves. Well, like I think that because the Earth is actually okay. Not well, like well, let's say, let's say, let's say, let's say it's an average of two miles then. No, but I mean like <laughs> the average. So like if you, that's assuming that like that everywhere is could, is the same you know elevation. Mean, like, it goes like, like, all it all goes I'm saying like is that. that could you could that be enough for you to go to a website and just research further? Um, I mean, I think we'll probably discuss it on the we'll way We'll probably discuss it. On oh, the that's way brilliant! Through. And discuss but it with like, a few people. But there's a couple of websites good. there. Um, I, I think to be honest, discussion's good. I, I guess I'm just concerned about your motives, like as to why. Like, just to watch your video. Why? Like, is what? it like monetized? Is it an anti-government thing? Like, if the government's lying to us about this? Is it? Is it well, well, there you go. I mean, like, do you believe in the Well, yeah, I do. You do. So okay. What, what else so, is going on? So on the moon landing. Can, can you we tell me? We asked you what your motives. Can, oh yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. So, well, yeah, that's more. <laughs> I mean, one of the motives is, is like uh, maybe NASA. They get fifty-three million pounds per day. Okay, NASA is. So you're concerned. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, like, do you think that's a if this is all a lie? That's a criminal act. I mean, all the people that are starving and hungry around, you know, around the world. Do you think that would be a criminal act? So it, it, by the fact that it does work, it proves it's a blow. It doesn't. How does how does how does it work? Just, well, that was this chap's argument. I'm not saying. You know what? I haven't even finished my argument. I've been cut off at every. Uh, Jason. So as I said, I mean, like we don't, we do not sail in a straight line. I no. don't know where you got that from, but like, what's it? Um, if this happens to be west, okay, yeah. or east, wherever it was, then I'm pointing west at all times. I'm still pointing west, so therefore um, we're not going in these straight lines. We're always doing this slight curvature, as that gentleman said, but he didn't let me finish. Yes. And you, you, you sail around the continents. You don't go in a straight line. No one goes in a straight line. We sail around the continents. Well, if you're sailing, you can't go in a straight line because of the land masses. Yeah. But obviously. aeroplanes don't fly straight either. Well, they yeah, tend to. Be pun. I was thinking that. Like, yeah, yeah exactly. And did, did you know nobody's ever circumnavigated the globe between north and south? What, sorry? Nobody's circumnavigated the globe between north and south. Oh. Just. I mean, I don't really know much. I'm just here because it sounds you? interesting. Oh, I don't right, really right. Know. So, so, do you think you live in, on a ball? Water? I don't really know enough. Like, oh, right. I'd, I'd assume so, but that's what because because you've been taught that. Yeah. But like, I don't really know enough to say. I've really like right. I've just been taught that my entire life. Right. So. And would you be willing to question what you were told? What you, what you're told about living yeah, on a ball? Someone like if someone was telling me stuff, and I'd listen and. Like, if there was yeah. a fall off. Or well, no, if, like, depending on what I could so think of it, yeah. Well, if I could say that both you and I went to school very young when we believed in Santa Claus and yeah, Tooth Fairy. Exactly. Yeah. And then they told you you lived in this ball of water around it. Did yeah. you question that? Uh, no, because you're young and you're a kid. And and just impressionable, well. gullible. Yeah. We, we believe in authority, we believe in appearance. So I'm embarrassed to say that I, I lived most of my life never really questioning that. Yeah. I find it strange, but I just thought oh, they must be right. Yeah, it's that not must. really. Yeah. Yeah. Especially if you're a kid. Like, oh, like, yeah. Really. Well, see, I'd go so far as to say that's brainwashing. When they can't prove it, they can't prove it. There's, there's no actual proof you live in a ball of water going around it. Now, now, as an adult with critical thinking, I would ask you, how can water conform to exterior of a ball? God, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I honestly don't know enough. Like, I don't really know. No, I'm I think that's a, that's, so. a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good and honest answer. I don't know. How on earth can it? But then they'll come up with this magical word, gravity, which has never been proven. Now, science should be demonstrable, repeatable, and measurable but they cannot reproduce a working model of a ball of water on it. It's all a belief. That's all we had. Is there like proof for, wait, what is this theory? Is this uh, Earth is flat theory? Or is well, it just Earth is not a ball? Yes, yeah, it's not is a theory. The it's, it's, it is factual. It's your natural observations. Like, they give us the figures of the curvature of the Earth. Yeah. So if we go by those figures, we can see objects in the distance that we shouldn't be able to see. It should be two miles below the curvature. But they're not, you can see them islands far away. You shouldn't be able to see that. The longest uh, photograph ever taken is 270 miles, and you can see the land base. How far is that, like from here to. Sorry? How far is that, like in an actual geographical distance, like from here to. I can't uh, visualise 270 No, neither can I actually. <laughs> uh, well, if, if you go across the Isle of Man, what's, what's that, about 60 miles? Oh, I don't know. About, about 12 times the distance of the English Channel, you know. Just, and we, sh we should be see seeing any of that, but we can clearly see it. Or like across Lake Michigan, there's 60 miles, and a 
the city of Chicago, you, you can see it. You should be able to see that. But you can go and see things. You know, when people think a bolt goes over the horizon, or over the curvature, you can just zoom in with a zoom camera and you can see the whole of that bolt, proving it's not going over any curvature. It's just going to help your line of perspective. So you get smaller and smaller. But, but, and the fact that water cannot conform to exterior of shapes, it's impossible. When we look at the behaviour of water, it always drops to its lowest level and lies flat. That's why we have a spirit level, the water's level, showing its level. To believe that it can exist on a ball, it's just ridiculous. But that's how we've been brainwashed. And when I say that to a lot of people, they go, gravity. But that's a programmed response, because they can't, they can't prove it. I don't know, didn't, I thought gravity was proven with the ball thing, like dropping a ball and then dropping a feather or something. That, well, they like do that in a vacuum. No. Oh, okay, I mean, yes. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, but we don't live in a vacuum. Yeah. You know, we, we live in an atmosphere. And uh, if I drop something here, you know, people say, see gravity. But, but there's no proof there's a force pulling that down. But buoyancy and density explains why things drop. The molecules of this camera are heavier than atmosphere, so it's going to drop. A helium balloon is lighter, so it's going to rise. That, that was around before the theory of gravity, so... And there's no reason for you to float away in the air, because the molecules of your body is heavier than the atmosphere. And people say, oh, gravity is holding you down. I say, no, nothing needs to hold me down. The density of my body is enough, you know. No reason for me to float away. If, if I did, we could fly then, you know, it's ridiculous, ridiculous arguments. But this is probably one of the biggest things, especially on YouTube at the moment. There are millions of YouTube channels dedicated to this. Okay. Because so many people are waking up and realising they've been lied to, and all yeah. they had was a belief. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, brilliant. Thanks very much <laughs> yeah. for your time. Yeah. Thank, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> And some people believe in evolution and, and you know, like about creation, creationism and things. You know, like so, a lot of people are religious and they form a, an opinion based on we're on a planet globe. But if if we are on a flat Earth and it was designed and it is, uh, we do have creator or create. Uh, are we being? Is this all that's being hidden from us? You know, like is God being hidden from us? I'm not religious. I'm an agnostic, by the way. I'm just putting that out there because. Quite a lot of flat earthers, they are religious and they believe that. Yes, because obviously they believe that, that was God. when the, 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 the theories changed from being flat to being a globe, it was religion that was trying to prevent that theory being performed, wasn't it? Because the, the original sort of uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. religious view yeah. was, of course, we know that sun going around, sun and moon going around us and not us going around that. All we're trying to do here today is just get you to question it. Uh, and, so, Believe that uh, you lived on the globe probably the age of five, seven years, maybe or something, um, and then you kind of go through your life and that kind of question. But uh, most of us don't. And, and then later on in life, you start seeing films about it, TV about Earth, and, and pictures of space and, and rockets and all that. But but we've never actually seen a proper photograph of the Earth. You think you have. But like, if, if you believe these photographs, then then you have to believe. Uh, there's one, the prime example in there. You have to believe in NASA's official 2012 uh, photograph of Earth and 2013. Yeah. So I, went to NASA, I thought they were kidding. So I went onto NASA's um, website and I seen it for myself. Um, that's South America. So that's America. Now, now, I know you've got the same eyes as me and yeah. I think that there's a problem. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's clearly what they've done there. It's a, it's a closer picture that they've cropped <laughs> off the outside. No, I never did but that why? before. So yeah. they could crop a circle round so it. If but why? It just seems why? Yeah. 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 So all we're saying is that don't believe anything that I'm saying. We're just saying, is it? An, uh, can we offer enough information for people to just question it again themselves? Because, uh, but it's not. Why? Right, if there's so much evidence, so much evidence, misleading people or. or putting forward a certain view that it is, yeah. and to do that, I guess, there must be a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what is the reason? Well, again, until we get that, I mean, I can show just a, a few of them ideas. There is what I'm doing. Two, two big. Well, we're not going to see land that I shouldn't be able to see. That bit's not a theory. I mean, like, I shouldn't be seeing these long distance lands. That's not a theory. But then, when you're in a 30,000 feet in aircraft, yeah, you can see, you can see, you can see yeah. so all that amateur footage and all that, yeah. and if you, if you speak to uh, quite a lot of pilots and all that, and there's lots of evidence of flat earth, you need the pilots, 
I'm not telling you, it's far. You know, and, and you can watch some YouTube videos. There aren't there. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that. Well, there you go. But that's nice talking to you. Yeah. Research it. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Alright. I think we're just fucked up, but yeah. I knew you were with the SR came down and uh, just to see what was going on and stuff. You know, just a corner. So I live in Newcastle, so on the way up, I thought I'd stop off. Oh, well done. Well stop done. off and meet you. Oh, that's excellent. Are you sort of known to a lot of our turfers online? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah,
I've, I've, have you got any like little leaflets I can I can take with us and stuff? Um, sure, man. Because yeah. I, I have no idea where to get them from. Oh, right, cheers, thank you. Uh, if you don't mind uh, giving out a few cards, that'd be great. If you oh, want. no, no. Just leave them somewhere. Oh, yeah, of course, of course. Uh, I've got a bunch in my car and every now and then I flick them out the window. Oh. Like, <laughs> so people pick them up on the street. <laughs> Thanks very much. All uh, oh, right. Oh, cheers. Uh, thank you. We, we've got a website on the back there now. It's uh, FE Start. It's where, where, I think I've checked it out. Yeah. I have. Yeah, oh, yeah. Good, I've, good. I've, I've, I've been on it. But, um, you, can, you can download them as well. They're on there as a PDF. Oh, can yeah. you? Right, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. I'll do that. Yeah. But, um, so have, have, have you had any angry people so far? Or? Uh, not to... Not today, no, not not angry, no, but <laughs> a few very close to this idea of it. Yeah. But we've had, met about three flat earthers. Oh, really? One, one is a teacher. Hi. Wow. Oh, cool. Brilliant, yeah. yeah. Well, at least open to it, you know. Just, yeah. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> Need to get some. No, I have one question. Um, if sure. the earth is flat, what shape is it? Uh, well, I've never been that far to know what shape it is. What shape do you think it is? Uh, I haven't got a clue. I, I try not to theorise. With I try to say with what I, I know. Yeah. That I know yeah. that I live in a flat level plane, and we're not moving, we're not spinning. How flat do you think? It, how thick do you think it is? What's well, underneath? Well, do you know how? Do you know how? No, good question. I, I don't know what's underneath. But do you know the deepest people have drilled? No, I don't. Eight miles. Okay. So it must be at least eight miles. Okay. Uh, other than that, I don't know. Yeah. Do you think it's square? Uh, like well, I don't know. A lot, I think the Bible uh, has mentioned square, square flat earth. So is this linked with religion then, or is it? No, I'm not religious. I'm not into science. Well, I'm into natural science, but I'm not into the traditional science where, or, or religion. I, I was told to choose between uh, creation or, or evolution. And none of them really did it for me. I didn't believe it. There wasn't much truth for either. So, all my life, I never really bought any of the two. So you're a flat Earth scientist now. Oh, well, that's, that's a nice term, man. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah this gentleman, yeah. Are you a flat Earther as well? Just, you know, I just met him today. About, like, yeah. The shape and the stuff. Just yeah. picture that in a way. So do you think like, it looks like, like that it, on your T-shirt? It, 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 it might not be correct, but it's very. You know, like that. If you put the pieces together, that's yeah. what it may look like. Yeah. But no, still, nobody knows. Do you think that shape is more believable than the shape that? We, yeah, because we know. Wa water lies flat. You can't bend water. You think about the water. What is always flat? It's like the Truman Show. Isn't exactly. It? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Ah, you're halfway there. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but there. See, see, you're an adult now. When they told you you believed in a ball, at the same time as you believe in Santa Claus and Tooth Fairy. Yeah. But now I'm asking you, as an adult with critical thinking, yeah. how can water conform to the exterior of a ball? Now, may I ask you if that was a program response, or do you really know that? I'm an engineer. So. <laughs> but, okay, did, did, did you know that? Did you know that gravity that holds water to ball has never been proven? And that's why it's called the theory. Yeah, it can't be on a small scale. No, not a small scale. Science, I'm sure you've been on a big scale. Well, if you believe in a, in a round, in a spherical Earth. Yeah, but, 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 but being an engineer, I'm sure you'll agree that science should be demonstrable, repeatable, and measurable. So science cannot reproduce the working model of a ball with water going around it. Well, did you know about the Cavendish experiment where Henry Cavendish in 18th century measured the gravitational constant with two hanging two balls? So that's a small scale. That's gravity measured on a small scale. But of course, they never repeated that experiment ever. We're supposed to believe one man's testimony in a barn in the 18th century that he me measured the gravitational constant. But that, that, that type of gravity that holds water to ball has never been proven. I'm not, I'm not arguing with you about that. Earth. I'm just curious to know. Uh, do you think there's any possibility that what, what you believe about the heliocentric model might not be true? I am completely open. Oh, good. That's, right. That's music to my ears. I'm not, I'm not asking you to believe anything I'm saying, but the fact that you're saying you're, you're open-minded... I think, I think the, the concept is interesting, and what you've done today is interesting. Oh well, as long as we've got your interest, that's good. And that's, what, that's why we have such uh, provocative titles, to, to get people to engage with us, whether negatively or positively. But, but I would put it to you and everybody else, as, as I, was on, I had to be honest with myself, say, everything I know about the heliocentric model is a belief. I believe what I was told at five years old. That's true. That's, that's true. Yeah. I, I, there's no primary observations. There's no first-hand experience. I'm just believing people what they tell me.
And now, a grand old age of 25, I'm starting to question what I've been told. So, fair enough, good on you. And asking for proof, which can't be provided. So. And if you listen to airline pilots, they'll tell you, the ones that will speak out, they've never seen any cover truck. I've seen cover truck. Now. <laughs> right, okay, no, no. No, no, no. I don't, no, I, I, I don't wish to fall out with you a bit, but, but I ask people, have you got any proof of that you've seen coverage on? Did you take a photograph? I'm not, I'm not. Like, now, if, if I told you I was swimming with the Loch Ness Monster last week, would you believe me? Which, uh, so, so why would I believe you if you said you've seen the coverage? When I've flown for many years and my own paragliders, I've never seen any coverage of. I'm not, I'm not up for an argument. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm really not. I don't want to argue either. But, but everybody who, who, who claims to see the coverture, I say to them, I and, ca- I and I say, can you ever do that? What I when you go to the beach. Oh, I meant like on a plane. Yeah. In like, well, I don't know, maybe like on a beach where you can just see the horizon for like the birds yeah. there and there's no land, like you can kind of see it, but I don't know. But, but, you just but, but then, yourself. But then it should be curving at the ends. It doesn't. No, it's only, it's only like really slight. It's not just like. But there should be a, it'd be a huge curve on it. If you can see a landmass stretching 60 miles in the distance, it should be huge curvature at either end. That would. Okay. The, the, the longest photograph I ever taken was 275 miles with distant land, but that land should be two and a half miles below the curvature. So we can prove it's a flat earth by seeing distant objects and distant land, which. which which contradicts the figures that we're told for the coverture of there. It's eight inches per mile squared, the coverture. So we should see evidence of coverture everywhere. You shouldn't even be able to see the Dover Cliffs from France. It's 20 miles away. But at least you, you, at least you admitted that, that you believed everything you were told at five years old. Because we're naive, gullible, don't develop our critical thinking. We just, why would our parents or teachers lie to us? It must be right. But then we, we, had, we had a teacher here earlier, you know, who, he says, yeah, I, I left teaching because cause I, I knew I was teaching things I, didn't, I couldn't prove myself. So I, I thought that was quite admirable. He says, I'm telling children about fictitious planets out there that I can't verify myself, but I've just believed. Now I'm passing it over to the next generation who are going to pass it on to the next generation. But there's no, there's no proof we live in a ball. Sorry, I, t- I, t- I tied it. Do you think we'll ever like find out for sure? Well, I know for sure myself. No, but do you think oh. it will ever be like actually proven formally and officially well, by well, the I, government? Yeah, <laughs> I think it might be because NASA. <laughs> yeah, because a bit uh, three years ago there's only a handful of videos on YouTube about this subject. Now there are millions. So it's growing so greatly. Now, if what I'm saying is true, and people come to that re- realization, once you come across truth, you can't go back, can you? I've never known any flat earthers to go back from believing they're in a ball. Because they, they, they've come across too much evidence and proof that contradicts what they've been told. And they have no proof that they live in a ball of water on them. And so do you think that there's more proof that the earth is flat? Than absolutely. Than there is the earth yeah, absolutely. Why oh, would sorry. we get told that the Earth is round? Like, what is so offensive about the Earth being round? Well, I, just I, why are they getting, trying to hide that? Yeah, is it just getting to see what, seeing what, to what extent you can lie to the human yeah. race or something like seeing how far we can go? Well, I, I, yeah, I, believe, yeah. I believe they're, hand, they're hiding from the land from us. Oh, okay. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And also, if I can go back to your engineering experience, I've interviewed uh, bridge engineers. Yeah. No, no, no. Bridge, bridge engineers who start from either end of the bridge, like the one in China, the Dangyang Bridge, 100 miles long. They do not take, yeah, they do not take the coverage of the earth into consideration when building the bridge. I think they do. I think no. it was a very long bridge because I am a bridge engineer. <laughs> no, no, I think I, 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 I think a very long bridge. I've never done it myself. Never I think I think the media will tell you that, but if you listen to bridge engineers themselves, they don't. <laughs> and airline pilots, when they fly, they don't take the coverage of the earth into consideration either. 
So how, how can an aeroplane fly around the ball? When I was at college, we were told that over a large distance of the building, a building, long structure, you have to take into account the coverage of yeah. the earth. There's a number, there's a factor that you apply to your distance. Oh, yeah, that sounds bad. And, and, and who, who told you that? I investigated it myself. College lecturer. Yeah. Oh, right, OK. And um, um, I've got a college lecturer. Yeah. Well, I've been investigated. Well, that's, that's a figure three percent. But then you can discount that when you show them things that you shouldn't be able to see according to that. Ah, right. Okay. Yes, but no, it's, uh, it's funny. You guys are funny. So, it's so funny how if the earth is flat, how come it doesn't get blown away? Spiral. Blown away? <laughs> Solar winds. <laughs> yeah, or gravity. 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 Yeah. How about the other planets? Are there what? other planets? Well, how, how do you know they're planets? Is it spinning? It no, it's, it's, not, it's not spinning. Yeah, it's it's spinning. If you listen to your, yeah, you listen to your sensors, it's telling you you're not spinning. But authorities try and tell you you're spinning faster than a speeding bullet. And all these things up there, what you see, all you can tell is that they're disc shaped light. You can't prove they're solid planets. But we're told the solar planets. It would make sense though, if because if we're a planet, but we're not. Then the it doesn't make sense. Okay, if, if we're a bit of land with, bit of we're a flat plane. Then there's probably others. Because yeah, like yeah. we have the conditions yeah. for life and yeah. earth and buildings. And I would agree that, that so there, there, must be others. there might be others, but but there'll be flat planes, and they wouldn't be up there. They'd be beyond us. All 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 we see up there is coloured lights, disc shape. Other, more than that, we can't prove there's a sphere, can't prove there's a solid sphere. Even the moon, you don't see the other side of the moon. Have you, have you so if the Earth is flat, do you think it's horizontal? Do you think it's like that? Do you think we're upside down? Oh, horizontal. Do you think so? Yeah. Are you but sure what? we just don't know that we're upside down? But, well, yeah, who, who knows? But look at the behaviour of water. Water always, water has to be contained. And it always drops to its lowest level and lies flat. So you believe in gravity? No. No. I'd have to see proof of that before I believe you. Yeah. Like buoyancy and density explains where things fall. Or I don't need gravity to explain that. Buoyancy and density are based on the fact that there's gravity. Well, no, I, gravity well, that's what we're told, but but like the molecules of this camera are heavier than atmosphere, isn't it? So it'll drop. Where a healing balloon is so lighter. You can see that, so you believe it. Oh, I see that. Uh, the, the molecules of a helium balloon are lighter, so it'll rise. Now, I don't need to see your gravity come into it at all. And then when you're and I, I so need you need to see things to believe them. Sorry? You need to see things to believe them. Well, that's be great. But not flat Earth. You don't need to see that. No, no, I, I know it's flat through my natural observations, but but I don't need, yeah, I don't need, I can't believe it's anything. More, it's more of like an inherent feeling. It just feels something's not right about the Earth being round. I, I felt that at five, but that was suppressed out of me. Yeah. Shut up, gravity. Okay, then, yeah. yeah. And, it, and it suppresses our natural uh, critical thinking. When we have a how does water not fall off miss how do we stand underneath the ball gravity shut up okay then it must be gravity and we just believe that like parrot fashion and then when I ask the people here how does water go forward you see a, a ball gravity gravity it's, it's, it's parrot conditioned thinking it's not critical thinking it's programmed thinking can I ask you if you think your thoughts are your own and you, do you want to wait for all these answers um, five, five of them? I think I'm making up my mind at the time <laughs> Okay. Yeah. So your thoughts are your own? I'm naturally inquisitive in it, to yeah. as we are. I think we're all curious to know the truth. Okay. Don't you think your thoughts can be conditioned? Yeah. So, Definitely. So they might not be your own then? Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 It yeah. could be said. So, could be said. So if you're watching a lot of television, a lot of films, reading magazines, uh, listening to other people... They definitely affect the things that you think. Well, yeah. So you could be just... Well, so you, so you could be repeating something that's not your actual thought in the first place, like gravity. Yeah, ultimately it depends how interested you are. You know, if you can form your own opinions about something. Some things I just take for granted. Some things I don't care about. Yeah, yeah. Some things I'm more interested in. Fair enough. Yeah. But, but you asked about when people just say gravity. That's that's a program response because that's what they've been told. But they, they can't evident themselves. But yeah. the, peop the people who are interested can choose to take yeah. it or leave it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, <coughs> uh, who's it? Noam, Noam Chomsky, who, who said that uh, the American government spend about billions and billions a year to control the public mind through advertising, television, music, films, and then they walk out, out watching television, repeating what they've just seen, thinking it's their own thoughts. They've been programmed. We were programmed from five years old. 
because we believe we lived in a spinning ball of water on it. Jesus, that's crazy. I'm sorry. Yeah. As five year old, we buy it, but come on. And I don't still thinking if I if I have a saucer here, a soup dish, and a ball, and I pour water in a bowl, it will fall off. But the soup dish it will contain the water, and the water will lie level. That's through our natural observations. But you're supposed to suspend all that natural observation. Oh no, water can form around the exterior of a ball. Oh, can I? All right, I'll believe that then. I haven't gone around everybody. And because it's all authority and clever people telling you it, we just believe it. Without any evidence, without any proof. And thank you for being so open minded and let me to talk to you. That's my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank right, thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Right. Well, you can put what you can put me on the internet, mate. How, how, do, you, how do you how do you how do you explain how do you explain blind of the time? Right. Hello there. How, how do you see? How okay, I'm just filming with my YouTube channel. Is that okay? Yeah, I just got some donuts. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. These are in <laughs> circles. Night beer. Oh, the circles. Yeah, I, I think the earth might be a circle, yeah. I haven't told this gentleman here about this flat. Yeah, oh, absolutely, yes, of course, yes. Can I ask you why you think it's a ball you live on? I can't help, I mean, like, people are doing them, but... Because of the circumference of the ball. Because Perhaps. from space, when we look down, we see a circumference. Have you looked down from space? I haven't myself. Right. So it's a second-hand information you have, then, that's a ball? It's a belief, then? Yeah. Yeah. What, what have I said to you that that belief wasn't true? That people were lying to you about the shape of the Earth? Oh, I'd be gutted. Because yeah. I've always thought... If you see that gentleman in the Czech shirt there, it's called Robert Simon. In a radio interview, he, he produces all these blue Can marble shots. Sorry? Can you roll me a cigarette while I, I talk will have to this space, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, will have to I know this is going to take some time. No, 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 just, just two seconds. He produces all the blue marble shots uh, for NASA and he claims that they're photoshopped, they're not photographs, because he produces them. So if you don't have real photographs of Earth from space, what, what other proofs? So that's just your word against ours. Don't, yeah, but I'm asking you not to believe me to, to go and research that. Research Robert Simon. I can't research that, can I? You can go and internet and listen to his radio broadcast. And he's a data visual engineer. And if you look on NASA, he works for NASA. And you can see that he's been legit about... He explains how he conducts the Photoshop images of Earth. He says they are Photoshop because they have to be, he said. And so would you believe it? I'm into conspiracies, but I'm not into what you're well, saying. But this is not a conspiracy. This is this is. So what, you're saying this is fact? Yeah, that the Earth is flat. Absolutely. When you when you were, like a like a pizza flying yeah. through the universe. Well, it's not flying anywhere. It's not moving. All your senses are telling you now that you're not spinning. I'm not spinning, but authorities will tell you you're spinning faster than a speeding bullet. It's ridiculous. When you were five years old at the same time as me, you believed in Santa Claus and Tooth Fairy, correct? Oh, yeah. They took you into a school and told you you live in a spinning ball of water going around it. You believed it. Yeah, all the different people, all the different countries, all around this world. Right. That's what we are. Would, would you class yourself as a critical thinker? Okay, as an independent adult, critical thinking, how can water conform to the sea of a ball? How can water, sorry? How can water conform to the exterior of a ball? Well, unless you've got gravity and stuff, it can. And may I ask you if that's a programme response when you say gravity? Can you prove that? Well, no, I just know that from being taught. Yeah, well, being told rather than yeah. taught. Told. But there's no evidence for that. Now, would you agree science has to be demonstrable, repeatable and measurable with its claims? So that they cannot produce a working model of a ball with water going around it. It's never been proven. But they can. Well, can you recite any time they've done that? Consider we've been researching this for four years, and I'm telling you they can't. Four years? Yeah. <laughs> oh, blimey. Four years researching something, and there's been hundreds of years before you. There's been hundreds of years of flat earth research before as well. 
but that was suppressed uh, around the 1940s, 50s when NASA came into four and showed the world a couple of images. Look, you live in a ball. Okay, then that's proved it. We live in a ball because a flat Earth resurgence. No, movement that was wasn't not. proved with NASA. That was proved with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but I'm saying the flat Earth. Uh, thing was growing at that time. So when NASA came in and said, look, it is a ball. Yeah, we proved it. Okay, then. But, but we had Archimedes, we have it's an advertising people like in deep history saying things. Before they had a telescope. If I'm a child, if I'm a child... But yeah, you're, te they're telling you about space and planets. And they're watching the sky, they're seeing it move. Yes. It moves. They're understanding what happens over there because people ro rode on horseback and actually told them what was happening a few days ago. So it is a sphere. It has to be. Yeah, but 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 they cannot prove it's a ball of water on it. That's never been proven. There's a lot of theories about it, but nobody's actually proved it. And I've just told you your photographs of Earth are not real. Am I on film? My, she, she, did you not notice it? Yeah, my YouTube channel. Yeah. So we're, we're just speaking to everybody in the street and saying that, look, uh, I was lied to. I had to admit to myself that all I had was a belief because I believed everything I was told. Until four years ago, I started asking for proof. And there isn't any proof. But yeah, through natural observations, you can tell we live in a flat plain. You can see things way in the distance that we shouldn't be seeing. Should be over the curvature. So what... Do you think there's any possibility that what you believed about it may not be true? Or, or are you 100% sure you live in a ball of water? I'm, yeah, 100% sure. I live on a ball of water spinning through space, which has got different atmos atmospheres, and that's how it works. And there's no possibility that, that may be wrong. <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, okay. Right. Oh well. <laughs> we'll just agree to disagree, but I'm just saying this is one of the biggest movements on the internet right now. Yeah. Four years ago, there was about a handful of videos about the subject. Now there's millions. I'm happy to accept stuff, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm well, also it's good happy you, not to accept yeah. stuff. It's good to discuss things where people have different opinions, don't you think? Yeah. I, yeah. 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 I don't know if it's a religious thing no. or no. not religious. Just a flat planet thing. Flat planet, yeah, pure and simple. Yeah. I never really bought the creation story or the Big Bang story. No. Never bought any of them. Hmm. Yeah. But you'll find if you go on internet, you'll find this is really uh, popular. And that's based on Admiral, uh, he went down to Antarctica, he took 3,500 troops, you know, like American Navy, and you can see, uh, it's all documented. He, he also um, was at, it was on a news program called the Lo Lo Longer Genes or something, and he's in an interview, and he talks about going to the South Pole, and beyond the South Pole, he discovered more land bigger than America itself. Okay? So there could be more land. Okay, now this is an Admiral. Now, now he didn't do this uh, TV interview on April the 4th. You know, like, he did this as a serious interview with me about more land, with more people, and mine options down there beyond the South Pole. Okay, so now, now he's either an idiot, could you know, like, it just seems highly unlikely that you would say so just to just to hoax everybody. It seems very unlikely. So, so all I'm saying is there could be more land, okay? Uh, and if there is more land, then 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 no, you're not content on the sphere that you can't go, you can't get off uh, what we perceive as Earth. You can't get off. So you can go explore mm -hmm. that. Oh, yeah, no, it, see, it seems illogical because your indoctrination, my indoctrination, you know, like oh, same as yours, I, a year ago, I believe what you were, uh, uh, thought, possibly, maybe. You, you went to the same school as probably as me. Oh, so you're going to yes. Australia. Hi, Mum. <laughs> I just think it's an interesting uh, concept. Oh. And, and where are you with the subject? 
I'm definitely a sphere. Well, the, 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 why do you think it's a sphere? Is there a mirror? You believe what your eyes say. Uh, and have you seen a sphere? Yeah, I've seen plenty of spheres and representations. Uh, have, you, have you, for your own eyes, though, seen that this is a sphere? I have seen what's been on the news. Yeah. If, if, I, if I may say so, though, but it could, it could make anything look real on the television box. Mm. Couldn't they? Yeah, I've also been up on airplanes. And so, sorry? I've also been up on airplanes. But have you ever seen a cover show from the airplane? Well, I've never been an astronaut, so I can't really tell you first hand. But, but we should see cover show from an airplane, though. But we don't. No. If, if, if you speak to airline pilots as well, they'll say they've never seen any curvature. Now, that's the curvature chart that they give us, so we should be able to see some curvature from, from top of our mountain, but especially on an aeroplane at 35,000 feet. So no... That's just perception. Okay then, but, but then we should be able to have some evidence of that, other than, than a GoPro it's lens. Round, it's round, if it's flat, it's flat. It's yeah. Do you think there's any possibility you might be lied to? All the time. Sorry? All the time, especially by the people who collect me taxes. But yeah, yeah. 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 Well, th thanks very much for the discussion. He takes his phone, he goes on the airplane, and you can see the bubble, you can see it invert, uh, sorry, you can see it uh, ascend the plane, you see the bubble move, and then it stays level, and then it goes in his butt, and it stays level all the way, and it descends, okay? Now, he did that trick, and I thought, well, I want to try this at home. I, you know what 24 hour timer is? Yeah. You know, so I put my, uh, my in the 24 hour timer, I glued uh, a phone to it, I put the just the way you it down, so that's just the way you can it down. You can see that you can see it in and you would expect to do that to your phone right now. If I put a bubble in, it will still go down the wall. It doesn't mean that skill that was spinning a thousand miles an hour, apparently. That's because that's what's it. You know, do you feel yourself spread? Well, your senses tell you that you're not small. Yes, you know, so they feel like I'm stiff and flat. Exactly. That's all. You just said it. <laughs> because the earth is such a big. It's not that big, though. If you, the calculation formula over there, you have a look at that. It's not that big. There, you go to school. I went to school, yep. but school didn't teach me anything that I need to know in life. They teach you rubbish. School is just uh, is nonsense. Now, that was a bit disrespectful question, don't you think? Did you go to school? Yeah, because that means that you're more intelligent than me. No, because I'm asking you questions. I'm just asking if you went to science lessons. Oh, that's fair, that's fair enough then. Did, did you go to science class? And you know what the science teacher showed us? A book, a wa water in a bucket, spinning it around his head. Oh, the water's not coming out because of gravity. It's got a barrier. It's the water's contained. obviously not going to come out because it's contained, you know? Yeah. So there's that water has to be contained no matter what. No matter what. Well, it's the molecules. Yeah, it still has to be contained no matter where it is. No matter where it is. It took me a long time. You can stir a spoon and you can make water's molecules change. But then when you stop stirring, what happens? When you stop stirring, what happens? You know when you stop stirring, what, what happens to that liquid? It drops. It drops away. It's interesting. But you just said in a cup. Yeah, well, in the cup. Yeah. So when you stop stirring, what happens? It's just going to stop and go flat, isn't it again? So why would anything else happen if that's what's happening? You see what I mean? Oh, you're not interested at all. Dude, you're mad. Yeah, well, uh, this is a more accurate size, with your Greenland being smaller, your Africa being larger. All oh, right, so have you done that true size thing? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so you kind of know that the big decision is the golden over there, Max. Well, there's, and there's often, I mean, come on, in school you would have seen the other maps as well. I mean, we've all shown, like, three different styles. When you get to kind of, like, maybe, like, uh, in my day, it's probably like 50 years, maybe I might have seen it. Do you mind if I ask you a response to that? Hmm? Can I ask you a response to what you've seen? 
not growing up, not, not, not being the doctor. Well, it says, uh, uh, are you being lied to? We, we all use that same map. And then it says, proof versus not spinning the ball. Uh, yeah. So yeah. that must I, be I mean, the I lie. There, yeah. But, yeah. 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 We're great. challenging the, 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 what we've been told about living on a ball. Yeah. When you were very young, about five, it took you in the class and told you you lived on a ball, water around it. But as an adult now with critical thinking, I'm asking you, how can water conform to exterior of a ball? What? How can water be forced to follow a ball? How, how can it conform to the exterior of a ball? Well, it's, um, what's it call it? Not magnetism. Uh, sorry? Um, Gra uh, gravity. Is gravity. But, yeah. but is that not a programme response by us, though? Because that's what we've been told and we can't prove that. Oh, yeah, I think we've proved it because you can just go out and see it. <laughs> well, you've just got to look at the horizon okay. and see it's got a bend in it if you've got a big enough view. Have you seen a bend on the horizon? Yeah. <laughs> where, 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 the ends or the front? No, no, no. It just goes very, very slightly. And if you can imagine that for 12,000 miles. You've seen that with your own eyes? Yeah. Where, where have you seen that? Oh, well, I don't know. Anywhere where there's a good cliff and oh. plenty of sea to look at. You can't, you haven't. No. If you listen to the airline pilots, they'll tell you they've never seen the coverture either. Oh, well, it's all in the mind in that well, well, case. Well, I, I think this is, is a bit uh, truth to that because we've been socially conditioned to expect to see it mm. but when I ask people okay you've seen it did you take a photograph of it and, and everybody says no I said well you know we, we need to see evidence of that if people claim they can see the coverage of course it might be an optical illusion yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. No, you know the curvature that you think you see yeah. is probably because it's a matter of perspective because what yes. in front of you is nearer than what the sides yeah, are yeah, yeah. So. And, and, and plus people claim that our boats can over the curvature yeah. But you just use a zoom camera and you zoom in and see the whole that boat again, proving it's not going over coverture. It's just going out your line of perspective, as you just said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. so we can prove that we're not so on a ball. So, what do you think then? The Earth is the Earth is not spinning. Yeah. But it is a ball, or it's flat. It's flat. It's flat. <laughs> a flat Earth. Yeah. You still believe that? No, I don't believe it. I know that. No, no, it's bullshit. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Find somebody else. <laughs> Well, no, you can see the here, can't you? You, you can see that the stand and someone's Suppose. built them Suppose. with spirit levels, but which are level. Yeah. Well, I know you kind of see that, obviously, but, um, like, what do you mean? I can't see what you're talking about. I can see all this amazing stuff. Yeah. Uh, world spinning in a perfect sphere. How can you how can you see the earth spinning? I know. No one can. <laughs> when I'm asked, that's what I can see. Well, that's because that's what we've been told. That's the thing. You need a question. Right. Been if told. it's not, you know, then we're all going to suddenly fly off. It. Why would you? No. Are you made of helium? Are you, you have a weight to your body? Are you going to stay on the ground? Yeah, I do have a weight. Exactly. <laughs> Everybody has weight. Like bones heavy. Like we, we weigh something. That's why we jump on a skills. Why does a skill say a number? Say, for instance, you put two skills, you get two different things. Does that mean gravity is going to make them two different numbers? I don't know what you're talking about. Gravity's not selective. A weight has a weight. Like we have a weight. We're not going to fly away because we weigh something. That's all it is. Very, yeah, very simple. Yeah, got a central weight. Yeah, yeah. It's very, very you simple. Gravity, yeah. gravity doesn't need to be there for that. You know? It's when are you going to share those donuts out? <laughs> I'm <weird. laughs> Oh, from my girlfriend. Oh, your girlfriend's not coming now. You may as well share them out. <laughs> Right, uh, no, 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 no. Well, I will. Because uh, probably have to buy time. some other ones. No, no, I'm joking. I'm joking. Don't, no, 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 no. I don't. About donuts. But what's your girlfriend going to say about it? She's going to say, get some more donuts. <laughs> Where is your girlfriend? Is she late? I mean, like, if you look. No, I got to go on a bus to see her. Oh, right. Good God. See what. These are peer reviewed, um, what's it, signs? Uh, very, uh, um, and make, make, make some more. Some and if, if, you, if you look at this LIGO <laughs> experiment, this LIGO is. It is a Mickelson Morley experiment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's based completely on that. I yeah, think. only by the, so, the, so, the amount of universe there is, the, 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 the amount of expansion. Where does the theory start? 
How does it start? How does the theory start? Well, there's theories that, that they get to be proved, right? That's right. The well, no, but that's what I'm saying. They haven't been proved. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. They've yeah. been, they've so been there's acknowledged. There's no more evidence for anything else. So, so what I'm saying is that you could have a theory right now and tell me that lamppost is made of a lamont. That's your theory. Mm. And then I come along and I go, you know what? I, I tested it. I smelt it and all that. I'm sure it's jelly. And that's my theory. And you, and you say, uh, and someone else backs me up and they say, you know what? I kind of think so as well. But I haven't touched it. But I, I kind of seems so. And these are, that's all these theories are made up. They're just made well, up by, by people talking about them. And, and there is no evidence. Well, uh, only mathematical evidence. Ever. That's why it's right. a theory so now we get, and not a guess. Uh, so again, do you think that pseudoscience and mathematics, do you think that explains your reality? Um, I'd like to think it possibly does. There with at least some maths to well, back it up. I'm glad you do because because that um, that pseudoscience mathematics, uh, spherical trigonometry. Okay. Okay. So that's mathematics. Yeah, I'll go back. I'll, I'll go back to work and have a look at this. Um, Good, 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 I'm yes. not that great with the numbers, but I'll, I'll do what yeah, I can. Yeah, and that's all we're saying. We're, we're not saying you can't believe anything I try to say in five minutes. It's not possible. You've had this, you know, an education, the same as me. And I'm, I see, I believe I was indoctrinated and all that. And all we're just saying, just critically examine the evidence again. Or try and keep to uh, your cup half empty. You know, like if you go with it and uh, with a, a, a mind full of, you know, like my cup's full, you just, I, I, I suggest don't go. Don't, don't, don't look into it. Yeah. But you, you have to be open-minded a little bit. Yeah, you, I might be even a little to test this um, the curvature thing. Uh, I know someone who, who um, makes weather balloons. So. Okay, yeah, yeah. And how would you test it with a weather balloon? Um, because he makes them for fun as well. Yeah, but how would you test the glow? Cameras. The cam so we're talking about cameras now. Right? Yeah, because, because when we... Like, like look, just our own camera. Okay, <laughs> and all I would say is tell him not to use a GoPro or a fish-eyed lens camera. Okay. Yeah, well, can, can, can I? all I'm saying is that that's what most people use. Can I suggest, suggest though, that you use a, uh, a GoPro camera and a wide angle lens? So you can see the difference. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's a fair point that is. And all it is is that we've got lots of amateur footage of people sending these uh, muscle or weather balloons up there, and, they, and that's what we get. That's exactly what we get. And you can go online, you just put in what's it, amateur footage of. Uh, You'll know the difference between a, a fish eye lens, I would think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you seem bright enough. I, I'm sure you know the difference. <laughs> you know, but, but most people are switched off. They go, oh yeah, you know, like, I'm re and they don't realise that at some point it's inverted. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, I mean. <laughs> So, yeah, the second that you see that, you yeah, know. Yeah, I, I know, like I said, I, I'm still, you're still up in a very dubious territory. We're, we're, we're friends who like makes lenses for satellites. Yeah, no, no, you said yeah. that. No, we, we had a guy that uh, actually made, uh, what's it, part of a company that launches satellites in space. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and, but he still couldn't set, tell me, well, what, how does he know where his signal is coming from? When they're in a, he, he, he said, well, I get all the telemetry data and all that. He said, I know it's up there. He said, well, but how can you prove to me where it's coming from? Good girl. Good girl, though. And, 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 How about your phone thing? Yeah, they'd be blocked by mountains and stuff. So, so you say, it has to be from a satellite. <laughs> well, we're saying it's all cell towers. Because at your phone goes to every phone around here. I don't know, you, there's an app that you can put on there and it'll tell you where your phone signal comes. And every every place on, on, oh, yes. on Earth, it will tell you which cell tower. As you're walking along, you can, you can also, uh, find every cell tower mm -hmm. that you go to. And that's what it is. They just, and same with GPS, triangulation, Eloran. Or high, high altitude balloons. Did you see the one that came down last year in Brazil? Yeah. That was an actual satellite that's attached to a high altitude balloon. And if you look at uh, Project Loom on your phone, oh, you see it's Google's now got into it. They're putting satellites up there. And, uh, um, is it Stratosphere, is that? Yeah. It's Stratosphere, isn't it? Yeah. So they're probably mm. there the I, I mean, that's not that's not me making. Yeah, no, because, no, no. because you 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 got smart phone. You could put uh, anything I say. You could just go on your phone and uh, they go, oh, he's a bullshit, or he's not. Project Loom, look at that. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll have a little read. Right, it's been good talking yeah. to you. Thank you, buddy. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm far opinion. from convinced. No, 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 you should be. Five minutes, you can't be doing it. Yeah. You can't be done. Yeah. Not, I yeah. expect yeah. people to do it. But I think what we really like is having respect for conversation and difference of opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, with that? I, I must. I mean, I, I, this was like big, like about three or four years ago. It's like you know, all over, like you know, oh, it's yeah. like the it's, it's so, so oh, big. It? Yeah. Oh, I've seen like all over four chan with the you know the flat earth. Oh, I wish like I'd seen it back then. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah but but, there, but now there's millions on YouTube, millions mm. of channels. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, mm. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, thanks very much for your yeah, time. Yeah, anyway. right, cheers. Thank you. I mean, it's, it's obviously quite a broad statement, just to throw it out there. I mean, it's all we've ever known, really. You know, the, uh, the massive spinning ball. But, I mean, there's some good points here. I won't lie. I mean, I'm still I'm yeah. just waiting in line to speak to Giza, but... Oh, right. Yeah. Hey, what if I put it to you that when we were about five years old, when we believed in Tooth Fairy and Santa Claus, we were taken into a classroom and we're told we lived in a spinning ball of water on it. Now, we totally accept that. Now, I'm asking you now, as a young man with independent critical thinking, yeah. how can water conform to the exterior of a ball? Um, sorry, you think? Repeat, repeat the question. Yeah. Gonna, you can edit that out, obviously. But, no, yeah. how, how, do, how do you think uh, water can conform to the exterior of a ball? I don't know. Are you, are you, are you a believer of, of the flat earth theory of... Well, yeah, but it's not so much a belief. Yeah. It's, it's, I'm questioning what I'm being told, yeah. rather than making claims which shape it is. I mean, all... Um, all things that we're told we have to question, otherwise yeah. how are we ever going to move forward in yeah. science and all of that. And but do you think people question what they're told? I mean, it's, it's quite, a, quite a, it's a very big thing to question, but I mean... Is it? Oh, oh, oh sorry, the subject matter is a big question. All right. Yeah. I mean, do you, do you believe that um, humans have ever travelled out of, out of space, out of the atmosphere? No. Never? No. Never touched the moon? So do the moon, you? Um, I, I, don't, I don't know, I'm only... I'm only oh, well, it's an honest, it's an honest response. I, I used to believe that, yes, but uh, now I'm asking for proof using my critical thinking. Yeah. Instead of showing me CGI in cartoons, where's the proof that somebody went to the moon or spacewalk? So now, one of the first things you do when you go to the moon, do you ever climb mountains? What, moon mountains? No, these are mountains in, in Britain. Have you ever? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about you, but, but Tara, I don't know about you, but when I get to the top of a mountain, one of the first things I do is oh, 360. Right. Yeah. Now nobody's ever taken the camera on the moon or on a spacewalk and did a 360. Why is that? Yeah, good question. Why good do you question. think that is? Yeah. Same way as Coronation Street doesn't. Because it would break the fourth wall. Yeah. yeah. That's, under, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. But what about the um, the uh, fact that when you're at the top of a mountain and you were to look out, you can. Uh, I know one of the main theories against flat Earth theories that you can actually see the curvature of the earth yeah. from a top of a mountain. Like Mount Everest I know is a is a point where people have said that they can yeah. see the curvature. Have you seen the curvature? I mean I have been on a plane and I, I I don't really know what I see but I mean I can't I can't actually see a physical end. So I don't know if that contributes to your theory or, or whether it yeah. contradicts yeah. it. There's obviously a man being very uh, controversial. Yeah. 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 Yeah, he, he, he was really nice to earlier. But yeah. Yeah. Making a little fool of himself. Then. Yeah, but, but if, uh, if you speak to pilots who say they've never seen any coverage of the Earth, yeah. and I, I've flown and I've flown my own paragliders, I've never seen a, a coverage of the Earth. Um. But yet, you know, it's like, like me expecting people to believe I, I've seen a Loch Ness monster. Yeah. So I'm asking people who've seen the coverage, well, did you take a photograph of it? No. I said, well, I mean, I think we're socially conditioned to expect to see one. So what was the, what was the turning point for you in your life that you thought, hang on a second, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back this idea? Yeah, well, this was before i uh, seen anything on the internet. It was uh, I fly drones and supposed to be connected to satellites, mm. but I wouldn't get a connection in uh, valleys and remote places, but now they're with my phone. Yeah. So I'm thinking, is that land-based or...? So then I started researching for satellites in space. Could see no footage of satellites in space, just CGI or cartoons. Mm. And I researched rockets in space, just CGI or cartoons. So I already knew the moon landings were fake. Well, how did I? I, I don't. I'm, I can't, I'm, on, I'm on the fence here, so I don't want you to think that I'm being controversial. What um, was the point that, like, you thought that um, the moon landing was fake? Because I've, I've seen the video. <laughs> Fucking hell. Thank you. Now you're just going to hurt, I think you should sit down because you're just going to hurt yourself and destroy people's property. Come on, up you come. Come on. Up. Now go over and sit down there, look, because you're just going to destroy things. I'm going to stop. So, sorry, are you honestly on the fence though? Oh, on the fact that I, I don't, I'm kind of on the fence. I, I don't believe for or against, I've never seen proof of either, so. But you see the, the measurable curvature that they give us? Right. According to that chart, we shouldn't be able to see things that we do see in the distance. Right. Like the longest uh, photograph taken was about 270 miles. Yeah. Now the, the islands that you can see over 270 miles should be two miles below the curvature. Right. 
but we can see them. So there's plenty of proofs that we are not on the ball. Yeah. Oh. Jesus Christ. Sorry? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, but there are many proofs, especially water. Yeah. I mean, water always finds its own level. Yeah, it's always spherical as well, if you were to leave it to sit. I, that's, I know, I've, I've watched quite a lot of videos on it, and I've yeah. just tried to find the truth yeah. myself. It sometimes pushes at the edge, edge to try to get out of the glass. There's a wee curve at the top. Yeah. But on a land mass, there's no measurable curvature. Right. There's no visible curvature. Like what between about, here and America, there should be a huge mountain of water. Yeah. What about um, like visibility and humidity levels? Like that would surely affect how far you can see. Yeah, absolutely, yeah, yeah. That's why people say when it's flat, how come you can't see forever? Hmm. I says, well, the density in the atmosphere. Exactly. And, yeah. and weather patterns. And even if the earth was flat, you wouldn't be able to see right to the yeah, very edge. Absolutely, yeah. Although, somebody did an experiment, they were in an aeroplane and got a camera like this and they put an infrared lens in the front and it takes away the atmosphere, the clouds, All right, so you and you can see to then. Oh, wow. I've I thought, wow, it's amazing. I've never heard that technology. Yeah. Now, you know, some people say there's an ice wall around, uh, I don't know if there is, but there's certainly a white line around it. Oh, yeah. And I think, wow, that's mind blowing. So, what about space? So, what is above the Earth and what's below the Earth? Well, I don't know. It's just all theory, I guess. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Theory, absolutely, I mean. yeah. And and the deepest they've, they've drilled down is eight miles. So. Yeah, so we don't we don't know no. what's at the core that we yeah. hear about that. But. And they're trying to tell us what's at the core. Well, how how do we know that? This is we're secondhand information again. Yeah. Everything is secondhand information about the helicentric model. Yeah. Because we can't verify any of it ourselves. No. So what about um gravity yeah what about gravity so gravity doesn't exist then i suppose <laughs> have you ever seen it have you ever felt it have you ever touched it smelled it no but then again i've never touched oxygen and i know that i breathe it Did well experiments you, you, and you can see that. oxygen when you when you expel your ear can't you is in that, certain conditions is that oxygen or is that carbon dioxide that i'm breathing out well so i think it's a mixture there's a, there's a small part of oxygen and mostly it's carbon dioxide yeah, I mean, most but, of the time it's THC for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you see, when I've, I've done CPR, I've trained to do CPR, there's carbon, there's oxygen in, in that, otherwise you wouldn't be able to keep somebody alive. Yeah. If it was all carbon dioxide, yeah, if it was all carbon dioxide, then you wouldn't be able to keep anybody alive. So there is oxygen you expel from your body, you know. Yeah. Your, your lungs can't deal with all the oxygen that's coming in, so it has to expel some. And we've, we've got the trees to thank for that as well. Absolutely, that, carbon a, dioxide. That's a scientific thing that's, that's actually been proven, whereas... Yeah. I don't know about the ice wall, but I don't, I don't particularly know what would happen if I was to go to the edge of the world then. Well, would you fall? Where would you fall? Well, all water has to be contained. Like a lake, we don't see that when we see a lake, where's the edge? Right, yeah. We know it's, it's surrounded by land, don't we? So where there is a start of water, there has to be an end, or there has to be a circumference that... Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but it'd just be land around it, wouldn't it? Yeah. And there, there is new footage now, you can see it on YouTube, of somebody on an aeroplane flying for 20 minutes, and you can see a 200 foot ice wall. It's just non-stop. Tom, Thomas Cook, the, Thomas Cook, tra 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 Captain Cook, yeah. uh, in his uh, journals wrote that he travelled for 67,000 miles round a 200 foot ice wall yeah. and he couldn't find an entrance. Now, two other sailors have recorded that in the journals, so I'm not saying that's true, but, and, and there's an Cap Admiral Bird who went on three exped expeditions to Antarctica lots of aircraft carriers, ships, aeroplanes. And he claimed you could see further land bigger than America beyond Antarctica. So they're still undiscovered. Yeah, there was no ice, no ice on it. I, I want to believe that, so that, that yeah. there's, there's still the hope that we can become our own Christopher Columbuses and yeah. go and explore new worlds yeah. and discover like new civilizations. Maybe. Absolutely, yeah. But you know, you know what if there, there was a nice wall around and that contains the water in it? And the sun moves moves round a flat plane in between the north and south poles. What's to say it's an ice wall? Because surely, in uh, especially due to global warming, I don't know whether you believe in that, but I've seen quite a lot of proof for it. So surely, um, the ice wall would start to deteriorate or start to melt. And would due to what? Sorry. 
global warming? I mean, like, well, is, that, is that a controversial topic in itself? Well, I think it's the most controversial topic. Did yeah. you know about the uh, 30,000 scientists suing the government for the fraud of climate change? Seriously? Yeah. I guess it would have profited a lot. If you Google it, it's, it's, it's 30 or 60,000 scientists suing the government and Al Gore for the, the fraud of climate change. Now, here we have scientists on both sides of the coin, one calling others liars and a fraud. So surely we should listen to scientists saying that these, these scientists are lying to you and it's a fraud. We, that's evidence, isn't it? I mean, scientists... It's all, it, it only ever really seems to be theory. There's still, still so much that we don't know about the Earth. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, yeah. we've only explored something like, what, 20% of the, all of the oceans? And they still have the audacity to say that uh, animals have become extinct, and I don't know how they have the authority to say that when there's still so much of the Earth yet to be explored. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah.